Okay, I have my laptop with my tier ranking on it and I made this template myself. So all the books that I put on there were the books that I put on there. So you can just like a bit of information to have. And I think I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm going to explain all the um, tiers. I actually have quite a lot because it just makes way more sense to me. Okay, so I'm going to get started. The first one, which is the top one, is I wish I could read for the first time. It's like self-explanatory. Sorry. So this is like my favorite books. Yeah. Anyway, the second one is my comfort book. I love this is just like a book that is like pretty much a five stars, but it's not just like I want to reread it. It's just like I like knowing about it. It's like just like I'm so glad it's in my life because it's comforting. Like I'll think about this book and it will be like comfort you know the next one is trash but good and this just means that it really is trash the writing's not very good but something about it it kind of hits you know like trash but good the next one is was good when i first read it and it's like okay now like now that i have more books to compare it to it's just not that good the next one is i wasted my time this can mean like multiple things this can either mean like i started the book and like i finished it and it was just not really worth my time or or it can mean like I started it, I didn't finish it, but I still wasted my time. Like, you know. The next one is why. I don't like usually hate books. I don't really have any books that I absolutely despise. So this is probably the lowest tier and it just is like why it would mean like why would you write this why do other people like this like that's what that means it has multiple meanings and then the next one is never going to read i just know that i'm never going to read it doesn't interest me just not and then the last two are dnf did not finish and then the next one is tbr to be read let's just get started okay the first one is november 9 and i'm gonna put it in why because although this book kind of like held my attention there was a bit of a plot twist it gave me like a weird feeling um and when i was reading it it was kind of more like like i didn't know about like the hate behind it and i didn't know that people actually thought it was weird so i was reading this and i was like what the hell am i reading the only reason why like i feel kind of bad to put it in white is because i read it all the way through and sometimes that's hard for me because like my attention span is like really bad but i read it all the way through like it kept my attention the plot twist i didn't expect it but it just like gave me a weird feeling i'm still putting it in white because ben <coughs> i don't even want to think about ben goes in why the next one is the cruel prince and I haven't even read the other two books, but I'm going to put it in my comfort book brackets I love. When I first read this book, it was like my first like fantasy kind of book and the writing is so beautiful. The whole entire world is so beautiful and it's like fae and it's like fairies and it's like all gardens and like I really like Jude and Carden, like enemies to lovers, like actual like, you know, like they actually hate each other. Um, yeah, I just think it's like really good. The start is a bit weird. The like fish sticks. Thing that like oh, weirded me yeah. out if you can hear that that's my dog can you see her that's my dog growling um yeah so cruel prince my comfort book the next one is The Deal and I'm putting it in was good when I first read it. I remember like reading this book and it was like the 10th book I like ever read like getting back into reading and I thought this was gold. Like I literally thought it was a masterpiece. I loved it and I had a good time reading it and then I like remembered how good it was and I was like oh my god this is so good I'm gonna reread it and it was just like the star. It's just not the vibes. Like the way the guy is like her body like stripper tits or whatever like ugh. But I did think it was kind of cute when they were like like the the second half is like kind of cute but it's just not really my book anymore really but i do like the score the score is actually really good the characters are good just like the writing style is very like what patty like basic <laughs> And I just don't really like that kind of writing style anymore. The next one is Culty. And I feel like this isn't that popular on TikTok. But it was actually kind of good. So I'm putting it in trash but good. Because like it kind of is trash. I feel like there was something that was kind of weird. There was something weird. He called her like, did he call her kiddo? I don't even fucking know. But um, there was something weird. And I was like kind of a bit sus about that. But I actually really like this. Because this was my second Mara's Parta book. And 
it was like slow burn and I was like really confused I was like they literally hate each other like this guy doesn't even talk to her and I was like how is this gonna work and then it worked and I was like wow good but I think there should have been a bit more couple more like romantic angsty scenes there weren't enough of that but yeah it was still good so if you haven't read that yet and you like Marin Zapata I would read that the next one is the love hypothesis and I'm gonna put this in trash but good Oi, I'm putting it above culty though because it's better than culty when I first read this I loved it it gave me this feeling I walked out of that book looking at the world in a different light I thought it was amazing and then like it's just not like as amazing yet but I still really like it and I think that it's like really cute I just don't like it as much now because Allie Hazelwood all her books are the same and I have heard of people like making fun of the love hypothesis and they're talking about how the scenes were very forced like the characters were like actually forcing the main love interests to like sit together and like interact and like I heard that and I was like yeah that's kind of accurate you know like but it was still really fun to read and I would recommend the next one is the Spanish love deception and I'm gonna put it in I wasted my time because although there were a couple cute scenes in there the characters didn't really stand out to me like people act like this is amazing it's just really not like let's be honest and I know that some people are realizing that it's like actual kind of shit now I just think that it's so long if you don't know how long this book is it's like 500 pages like I swear there's just so many unnecessary scenes I actually like skimmed through half of it I think that if this was like 350 pages and there was more like just like something different like it kind of got to the point because the whole plot of this book is that they are fake dating like that doesn't happen until like over halfway into the book and it's just like a waste of time and then like the ending is super boring there was like a kind of cute feeling in this book it was kind of like classic rom-com kind of vibes it wasn't like horrible but I wouldn't waste your time the next one is we were liars and surprisingly I'm putting it in was good when I first read it this is actually the book that got me into reading we had like an independent reading thing in, at my school and we got to like choose a book and I was like you know what let's go on tiktok let's like look at book suggestions they said we were liars they said like it was like out of bang so I was like you know what let's just buy it and there was a tiny bit of romance subplot and I was super confused at the same time I'm not gonna lie but there was a little bit of romance subplot and I ate that shit up as soon as I like was done with that book got like, my library card and I borrowed heaps of books from the library so I actually have a soft spot for this book it was the book that got me into reading and it, I wouldn't be here today if I um never read this book so yeah and I it was actually good when I first read it like I did actually enjoy it but I was confused I was like really confused but in a way I kind of liked it the next one is Twisted Love and I'm putting it in Y. I actually DNF'd this book. So technically it is DNF, but I'm putting it in Y because ooh, what the hell is this book? I don't even want to talk about it. I have read Twisted Hate though and I really liked that. So a bit of information, but I just don't want to think about Twisted Love. The next one is A Thousand Boy Kisses. I've read 30% of that and I DNF'd, but I'm going to go back to it eventually, maybe, when I'm more mentally stable. But but I just don't really want to read it. Like, do I really want to read that? No. So you know what? I think I might just leave it in DNF forever because I don't want to think about that. And if you don't know what it's about, it's about... Oh, wait. I can't say what it's about. It's a spoiler. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. It's YA too, so it's like kind of, it's like sadder, but it's YA in a way. Anyway, the next one is To Love Jason Thorne. I'm putting it in Y also. I DNF this book. This book had potential. This book could have been amazing if they kind of stretched it out a bit more. And instead of like 50% through, the characters like got together and it was like boring. They could have made it shorter, but like also stretched it out more. And also there was like a scene where they were like drunk and it was like not consensual. Didn't like that it could have been good it wasn't though and it also had like a bit of like marriage of convenience i also haven't read the next book to hate adam connor but apparently that one's better so i think i might read that one eventually might get it from the library you know the next one is ugly love and uh, i'm gonna put it in i wish i could read for the first time now i really liked this book and there's a couple lines in this book that i really liked um and it was the second the third book that i read getting back into reading and i just ate it up i thought it was so good it wasn't even like really romance 
technically i'm putting it in this category one because i really do like it and two because i want to see how i would react to it now if i reread it like now like i completely forgot about it i really do want to see if i would like it the same or maybe it was just because i hadn't read any other books and that's why i liked it so yeah i'm putting it in that the next one is red white and royal blue and i'm putting this one in dana because this one is super cute and like it gave me good vibes it did but it just got boring for me personally i did really like the characters it had cute vibes like it really did i just got bored so i didn't have to see it but yeah it was really cute i would recommend the next one is red queen and i also didn't have that i read like 10 percent and i was reading like dystopian novels like i read like the selection not really dystopian but like whatever and i also read shadow me and there was something else but i forgot what it was and then i read red queen and for some reason back then i thought they were like fantasy they're not fucking fantasy i don't know why but i read like 10 percent of this it was just not good even back then my like my like expectations were like below zero and i didn't like this book it had potential maybe but yeah i got bored so yeah i read like literally 10 percent. the next one is the fine print and i'm putting it in i wasted my time everyone like hyped this book up everyone loves lauren asher i don't like lauren asher i don't know why i've tried to like her i just don't like the writing style i honestly have like a massive fomo i don't like her writing style i really don't and it's really sad because i really wish i did but i don't so yeah i mainly don't like it because the whole time there's just like this instant like attraction and it's like a bit insta loving and it's just ugh. i've read her other books too i've tried to read them and i don't like them so i think my dog farted but yeah i don't like lauren Ashell and i know i'm not hating on anyone that likes her i just don't understand if i'm like reading it wrong <laughs> There were a couple scenes in this book that were cute and were like kind of well done. I just like something about it just like didn't hit for me personally. The next one is the kiss quotient and I also <laughs> didn't have this book. Once again, my intention span is literally a goldfish. But I didn't have this one because they like got together and I got bored. That's why. But the first half, like the part that I actually read wasn't bad. I just got bored because they like got together. And the girl was like obviously like she had Asperger's whatever but like she was honestly annoyed me honestly she kind of reminded me of me because she's like antisocial and all that and i'm like fuck off like because i literally hate myself but it's fine um the next one is the seven husbands of evelyn hugo and i'm putting it like i'm putting it in my comfort book because some people might be like why would you not put it in i wish i could read for the first time i like knowing about the book and i actually like this was a bit spontaneous i wasn't even gonna read this i was putting it off and it was the first book that i bought hard copy like i got all my other ones from the library so it was special to me and i annotated the shit out of it and i love it i want to hug it you know it's comfort 9000 next one is The Silent Patient and that's on my TBR. I'm gonna read this eventually. I need to get into thrillers. I just like, I can't. Like I just like, something is like mental block. The next one is Never Going to Read. I read like literally a page. I couldn't understand it and like the concept's kind of cool, kind of like fun, but I'm just never gonna read it. The next one is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, TBR. Like main TBR book, like I'm gonna read this pretty soon and i think i'm gonna love it it's like ya and i really do think i'm gonna love it the next one is toy cute and i know this one isn't that popular on tiktok but i'm putting it in here because it is on tiktok and it is actually amazing like it's so good ya romance kind of gossip girl vibes because it's in new york city and it's just like so wholesome and like it's really well done i think it's actually really well done and it's really cute because the guy is like a twin and like everyone like gets him mixed up with like his brother and like she like knows that he's like who he is and there's also like a bit of like secret messaging kind of anonymous thing like going on oh my god just read this book it's actually really good um the next one is verity <laughs> I'm putting it in was good when I first read it. I didn't even read this that long ago, but I just think it's really overhyped. The manuscript part, I really thought that was like so out of pocket and I like kind of liked it. Like it spoke to me because it was like out of pocket. Um, So I do think that was good. The main reason why I don't really like it is the ending is like kind of like open for interpretation. Obviously I'm still manuscript, but it was just like, yeah, it was kind of like a fever dream, but I, I'm not like against it. I just, it's not like my favorite coin 
Hoover book. The next one is They Both Die at the End. I'm never gonna read that. Everyone hates it. Like, everyone, like, actually hates it. So, I'm not gonna read that. The next one, I've already put it in there. Better than the movies. <coughs> Moment of Silence. This book is so good and I like actually want to reread it because like for the first time though, the things I would do to read it for the first time, yeah. I like I grew up on the duff and this kind of has similar vibes but like it's better and it's just uh, oh, the guy, the main guy, the main fucking guy. I'm going to probably reread this book. I think I'm going to buy it like hard copy because I just want it. I want to like hug it. I want to sleep with it. I want to go on walks with it. I want to do everything with it. Um, yeah, but I really love this book. Read it. Go. Do it. Come on. Do it. The next one is You Deserve Each Other. This is on my TBR and I'm going to put it at the front because I know I'm gonna love it. I'm just deciding whether I want to buy like the hard copy because I know I'm gonna like it I just don't know if I'm gonna love love it, but I think I will that's why I think I'm gonna buy the hard copy The next one is from blood and ash never going to read I was going to but I just know I'm not gonna like it I'm not worth it and I think it's just like a bunch of smart like, I'm just not gonna go near it because it's a waste of my time the next one is throttled I'm putting this one in like why because this is like the second Lauren Asher book that I read I tried to give it a go I actually DNF'd it as soon as like they were like talking about each other and it's super like insulavy like once they like say that they like have an attraction toward each other it ruins the angst it ruins the stuff like it was even like a bit of like enemies to lovers kind of vibes and it just ruined it when like they say that they like find them attractive like I know other books say it, but they were saying it like really often in this one and I just don't like it it was super cringe I've seen it's people make fun of this I'm glad I didn't finish it because ew and like the guy is like super toxic and like he like went to therapy for like a month and he's like hello i'm well i'm like what the fuck that's not how it works i hate when like in books they like use therapy as like a cheat sheet it's like some books do it well but some books don't and this book didn't the next one is a cordon roses i'm putting it in my comfort book because no matter how many times i reread this book which i actually haven't because i read it this year but i know that even if i did like reread it without like forgetting about it i would still love it it would still here and this book i love it i actually really do like the first one just as much not just as much but like i really do like the first one and i think it's amazing because it introduced me to the second book and the second book is god tier i haven't actually finished the third book i know illegal i'm going to i just haven't gotten around to it the next one is shadow and bone it's on my tbr i'm gonna read it before i read six of crows which is on here too which is on my tbr i like kind of suck at like interpreting fantasy like for like the first like 50 pages so i think for me personally i'm gonna read shadow and bone i actually have the hard copy book because I got it for like six dollars at Kmart and also people say that Shadow and Bone is still good and I honestly think I'll still enjoy Shadow and Bone so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go Six of Crows because I really do think I'm going to eat Six of Crows up. The next one is The Inheritance the inheritance games. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh -huh. I'm putting it in my comfort book. I feel like my tears aren't very like well organized. I don't know, but I'm putting it in my comfort read because it is really good. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. You know what? I'm putting it in was good when I first read it because I haven't actually read the other two books. Um, but I kind of spoiled the love triangle for myself and I cried because like what the fuck? I was gonna stop the whole entire rest of the series because. I found out the love triangle but it's fine I guess we'll see how it pans out the next one is the last thing he told me I'm gonna read this one eventually once again um I actually think I like this one the plot is actually really interesting the husband's like not who he says he is and I think I'm gonna like this the next one is all the bright places I'm probably never gonna read this it just doesn't interest me I watched like five seconds of the movie I don't really want to cry and it just kind of gives me weird vibes the next one is it has from one summer and i'm putting it in trash but good because i feel like it is kind of trash and it is like really basic but i really liked it um kind of gave me wild child vibes and i'm pretty sure it's becoming a movie so like that's exciting so yeah i'm actually really excited for that the next one is all your perfects and this is actually my favorite coin hoover book and i'm putting it in i wish i could reread for the first time once again i just want to see if i would actually enjoy it the same but yeah i really enjoyed this one i actually don't know it's like really underrated but for some reason I just ate it up and I love the way that he met for the first time 
at the start of the book. Yeah, it was just really good. Like, it's, like, really sad, too. Like, you know, like, the scene, and it's like, what's her fucking name, Graham? Really sad, but I honestly think it's one of the Colin Hoover's best books. I think it is so, like, emotional. The next one is Addicted to You. Oh, my fucking God. I think this one needs a separate row, and I'm putting it in my comfort book at the very top. Because obviously, I haven't actually finished the series. I'm in the last book. Reading it very slowly. Never want it to end. But I don't want to reread it for the first time. Don't want to forget about the characters. I love the characters. <sighs> this book. I'm actually going to buy the hard copy. I think I'm just going to do it because I know I love it. I can't go wrong. One of Us is Lying. I'm putting that on my TBR. I think it will be a quick read. I think I'll enjoy it. The next one is The Problem with Forever. I'm putting it on my TBR but I don't know if I'll like it. I'm probably just going to read like whatever I read and if I don't enjoy it, DNF. I don't really care. Um, Larry Reads didn't like it so if she doesn't like it then I probably won't like it. No, I actually like some books that she doesn't like. The next one is The Selection. And I'm putting it in. I wasted my time. Even though when I first read it, it wasn't bad. I was just kind of like listening to what everyone else was saying about it. And I was like making myself like it. I was literally forcing myself to like it. Um, And it's just not that good. The second book, I tried to start it. I couldn't. It's just so freaking bad. I do kind of like the guy though. And also there's like a quote in the book. And it's like, break my heart a thousand times. Break it over and over. It's only ever been yours to break. That I like. The next one is Beach Read. I'm putting it in. I don't know. I don't know. I'm putting it in was good when I first read it because I actually DNF this book technically because I got bored but I loved the characters. I loved the banter. I loved it all. It was so good so maybe I shouldn't put it in that but like I'm putting it in that. I'll put it at the top. But yeah it was super good. I'm getting like super lazy now. The next one is People We Meet On Vacation. I'm gonna put it in my god. I need like another category. I'm putting it in my comfort book I like it more than beach read because I love friends to lovers But I think that beach read plus people meet on vacation both of them together would be like a five out of five These aren't five out of five. These are just kind of like I'll put it in trash but good now that I think about it because it's not as good as some of these books. But the ending, there was like a scene at the end and they were like yelling and I think that was like really good. Ugh, the next one is It Ends With Us. I'm putting it in why because literally why. I tried to reread this. I cringe. The next one is um, The Unhoneymooners and I'm putting it in trash but good but like at the top because this book gave me a distinct feeling and I still feel it now and all the other rom-com books I try to read, I want to get the feeling that the unhoneymooners gave me it gave me literal butterflies and i'm actually reading a book right now that's kind of giving me similar vibes i think it might be better than the unhoneymooners but like the unhoneymooners gave me like really good vibes the proposal kind of vibes and i'm just looking for like a book that gives me similar vibes to the unhoneymooners it also gave me not good vibes at the same time though because there was a couple things at the end pissed me off like it was just ruined it but it was really good at the same time though so okay so you may be like where the hell did you go and the answer is that the last bit of the footage went bye bye so i'm gonna do the rest just like this so as you can see i am putting the wall of one pig peg and me in trash but good which i'm actually kind of surprised about now it's really good but it's just so long and the sex scene is like kind of gross but it's i'm not gonna lie like it's actually good but it's not the best so maybe that's why i put it in trash but good but i would recommend this it had a really good vibe so yeah. The next one is Shadow Me and I'm going to put that in I Wish I Could Reread for the first time. I kind of forgot about everything that happened in the first three books and that's actually all I've read but I just want to reread it so I think what I'm going to do is going to read the novellas because like aren't they from like Warner's point of view from like the start? So I think I'm going to do that but yeah I'm putting that in I Wish I Could Reread because I remember nothing but yeah I just remember it being so good and I binged all three books in like a couple days. The next one we have is from Luke of With Love and this one is going straight into my comfort read because I freaking love this book. It had amazing vibes. It was just 
so magical and if you don't know what this is about it is a kind of like enemies to lovers figure skater romance and they have to be like partners for like figure skating and it just adds so much freaking more to the romance not my favorite Marin Esparta book my favorite Marin Esparta book is wait for it but it is probably my second favorite so I would 100% recommend this book next one is the hating game and I am putting this one in Y. now when I first read it I actually really loved this book I thought it was so good and it gave me like the classic rom-com vibes but now that I look back on it I see that it's kind of not that good the pacing was a bit weird it really just wasn't that good and I'm kind of surprised it get my attention because they were already like together like at the start of the book so I'm kind of surprised I actually liked it I would not recommend this book also like why does she like Smurfs the next book is Normal People by Sally Rooney and this is gonna be a never gonna read it just doesn't interest me and also it doesn't have quotation marks so I'm probably never gonna read it the next book is Punk 57 and it is going straight up to Trash But Good. This book is probably the definition of Trash But Good, but I actually really enjoyed it. I know that it was like kind of basic, it was just like a bully romance that was not really a bully romance, but I really liked it and I don't know, it was just fun. I just personally, I found it really fun and in a way I feel like they kind of had a connection. Probably not that strong, not that meaningful, but I really liked it so I would recommend if you're all a bit bored the next one is love and other words and this was kind of a weird book for me why is because i read it and then i stopped reading it and spoiled it for myself planned on never reading it again and then i picked it up and then i ended up dnfing it but i'm not going to put it in dnf because i am putting it in was good when i first read it because i remember distinctly reading it and just quickly getting through it i read about 70 percent before i stopped it and the before chapters i loved them it was my first childhood friends to lovers book and i really really liked it the only chapters i don't like are the now chapters so if you're a bit bored and you want something to read and you really like childhood friends friends lovers i would read this maybe you might even like the now chapters but personally i don't anyway on to the next one which is daisy jones and the six one because the tv show is coming out pretty soon and two because i recently read malibu rising and i absolutely loved it and speaking of malibu rising oh my god it's the next one on the list it's also the last one on the list and i'm putting it straight into my comfort read I love this book. I read it during summer because it's summer where I live. I live in Australia and it just hit so freaking well. I loved it. It was a bit hard to get into but once I got there I couldn't stop reading it and I loved all the characters and I think it was just so good. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry that this end bit was a bit shitty but you can't really do much. So I really hope you enjoyed and bye.